Spirituality meets ancient kingdoms in new movie tattoo. It is Don Omokwe's first feature length movie and pulls a lot of Nollywood heavyweights. Take a look. Upcoming Nollywood movie Tattoo is generating a lot of buzz for taking a different film genre from romantic comedy, which is currently dominating Nigerian cinema. Tattoo, a story about a young village orphaned girl who was taken to live in the city. At some point in her life, she's required to return to the village for some spiritual reasons, which then spiraled into an epic chain of events. Should you not be at the market by now? We're waiting for Tattoo Mother Superior. Tattoo! Why isn't she ready? Tattoo, don't go. Tattoo, well, was a, a special project. Basically, it was um, an attempt to begin to change the direction of how our audiences feed on our content. Now, Tattoo, as it were, is a story that is told with the aim to reach not just the Nigerian audience, but a global audience. It's time we begin, to, we, we begin to tell the African stories, you know, to tell African stories from our own perspective. Um, when I read the script of Tattoo, I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was different. It was really, it was a mix of an, an adventure with an epic story coming together, you know, and told in a contemporary way. I thought it was outstanding, and so that's why I jumped on the project. Nearly a year, I don't even know where you stay. I said, back off. Tattoo. I think someone is after me. Tattoo! <laughs> what is it? A screen adaptation of a story by Dr. Abraham Wankwo, the movie which brings together a stellar combination of some industry veterans and current raves, including Shegun Arize, Tony Abraham, Gabriel Afolayo, Sambasa Unzaribe, is hinged together by a young man who is only directing his first major feature of movie, Don Omokbe. Don is, in my opinion, not an inexperienced hand. Don has produced at least five projects in Nigeria one of which is the well-acclaimed Wedding Party uh, project. Um, Don, beyond that, has spent several years, you know, um, producing and developing films across, you know, even the United Kingdom. I am of the opinion that Don brings more than just, um, this happens to be his directorial feature. However, it, he brings so much experience that people like us wanted to be on set with him. Um, beyond that, um, when we talk about the costuming for, for Tattoo, it, it, was, it was a lot of work. We had to bring on um, ex an expert like Yolanda, and Yolanda did great work with costuming for it. Um, I remember back when we were working on pre-production, um, pre we had several designs, and I remember the, um, Don even had brought a lot of inputs, you know, trying to create a unique style for this particular film. Um, as such, it wasn't just, uh, it, was a, it was a coming together of a lot of experienced hands. And so I think Don was very, 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 very valuable on this project because without his directorial sense, the picture would not have come together as it is. In a couple of days, Tattoo would make its cinema debut, which is a litmus test for Nigerian movies. Tattoo producer Tolu Lord Tana, who is also executive producer for Ajua, and the 2016 hit movie Couple of Days explains why cinema releases is inadequate for filmmakers these days. There's something about me that is not right. I have to find out about my past. I want to know why. Why I have this on my chest? I forbid you from ever coming back. Let's yeah, go. The truth is, both the distributor, the producers, we're all in the industry and the truth is we all understand what the real challenges are. Okay, so um, I usually say that, um, I, I don't know if these are official numbers, but in America, you're, they work with at least 13,000 cinemas across the nation. Now, when a movie premieres there, it's, it pops, you know, the first weekend, whoever has put his movie, movie in the cinemas has made his money back. However, in Nigeria, we're running with probably 20, 24, 25 cinemas at the most. So for a good movie to make money in the cinemas, you need at least a shelf life of about 
seven, eight weeks, which when you think about the competition, the number of films that Nigerians are producing and number of films coming in, no particular film is getting enough time. You know, I'll give you a, a typical example. I, I, I saw Banala Island Ghost, and in my opinion, it was a fantastic movie. I liked the approach they went to it with. You know, um, however, I found out that you know, it, it was struggling with space because it's battling there at the same time. It's Sokken, the movie. It's battling um, 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 AY's 10 Days in Sun City. Um, Ajuaya was in the movie at the same time. Picture Perfect was in the movies at the same time. Even for your audience, you know, there needs to be a, some kind of spacing. Now, the truth is the distributor is not at fault. What we need you know, in the industry is a bit more investment you know, to expand that cinema chain. Again, we need to filter down our cinemas from that high level until you get to a mall. We need our cinemas to become community cinemas. I want to be able to walk out of my house, take a five-minute stroll, and be at the cinema, and walk back home. Outside the, you know, the cities, Lagos, Abuja, Kano, there are no cinemas in all those sm smaller places. And we've not even penetrated the population that makes up the audience that we really want to talk to. So you find that um, what we have here is a growing industry. And I, and I really want to you know, um, ask the government to go beyond just trying to you know, do small incentives, but help us expand this cinema network. If we can get to 100, if we can get to 200, if we get to 500, I promise you the quality of our films will go higher because then we can take a higher chance. You demented idiot! You think because you have some almighty golden penis? Nollywood, however, has been attracting a lot of international attention, which practitioners are now taking advantage of. When it comes to filmmaking, the truth is we need to start to think globally. Um, I remember once, you know, catching my wife watching a, a Korean series, and I was wondering, Korea? How do you watch a Korean series in Africa? But the world is one village now. You know, um, I got a call. Um, sometime at the beginning of the year from a man who said he watched um, our movie in a flight to Poland. He was coming from Amsterdam and he watched it on, um, on uh, the KLM Airlines. And you know, he called me and said, oh, we really liked your, uh, I really liked your movie. Could you, would you be willing to come down? You know, and, and I say to you know, young filmmakers that we need to st stop thinking small. We need to begin to think globally because the audience that wants to know what we're doing in Africa is continuously increasing. You know, so it's the way I can't, it's difficult to sell to you, um, um, say, Papa Nakara. But to a foreigner, that's an exotic meal. You know, same also, you know, you have this huge audience outside the world watching African content. There's that, you know, there are the Africans in the diaspora who are asking for Nigerian content. So, for example, Netflix, for example, is acquiring Nigerian content. You know, why? Because there's, there's a growing audience out there. And so it's important that we ourselves begin to see that there's an audience beyond the, our shores and begin to cater for that audience. Tattoo is expected to hit the big screens later this year.